will be waiting. Let's see. He has not forget the key. Interesting. Oh, that's what key. I found earlier. In a place Some like third this, he's causing problems at the vineyards. Mm. Looks like an archaeospore killed him. Find a place mentioning the letter. That's very far away. That's really far away. Well, damn, we're not going to be finishing that anytime soon. This one. We have something more nearby. Not this. Not that. What about the Gwen tournament? No, it's too far away. What about the tent? The tent is nearby. It's not far. What about this fighting? That's in the city. Where is the main mission? Is it nearby? I don't want to go there. It's down there, isn't it? Yeah, down there. Yeah, we want to avoid that place at all costs. And we are heading to um, the tent. After this question mark. Let's go! Like that. Right, next. And that is all of the question marks done. If I try if I tried the um, the sword from Lady of the Lake. Yeah, I did. And I, we spent a fortune unlocking um, unlocking rune slots on it. It was like 10,000 almost. Or maybe not 8. Or more. But we did it. So now it is really good. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. Before we head over to the go, go. tent. Let's venture in here.
dare not... Let's see if we can upgrade this to Grandmaster. We can give it a shot, see if we how squishy we become. If we die too much, then we'll swap back to heavy. Another murder by the horrid beast. Greetings. I hope your search goes well. What do you have on offer? Let's begin with selling. All right, well, this was no problem. Mastercrafted, still afford it. It's a grandmaster I'm worried about. Cannot afford. Hmm. Alright. Two. Right, that is the master crafted feline gear. Now for the grandmaster. Oh yeah, we need these. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're not gonna buy any of that, but we still have thirty thousand. Shouldn't be a problem. Richard Merchant plate. remember if we needed one or two. This one. This is the first Grandmaster feline gear. Not going to bother with the swords. Need one, but that's just that one we can buy. It's just an ingot. The plate is like very expensive. Gauntlets, chest next. No, wait. Do chest last. 
I need one more plate for that. Master feline armor, and we cannot make. Or we can buy two. Actually, no, that's a bit of a waste. Is it? We can make. Yes, yeah. A little bit of a waste. Like that, and then we need two of that. it will like that I think that's enough it's so expensive it's just insane right now we are poor again like 25,000 just out of the window Farewell. Good luck on the path. The Salfares cordially in fight. So we get a hood if we do that? To attend a lecture regarding the extinction of rare hmm. species and the dangers this represents to the natural order. And red, purple, white, not too bad. No, no. Mm. It's free of charge. Didn't really dime all of the parts, strangely. While this do die all of the parts. Question is how much damage should we get out of this piece? What does it have a Gwen sign? Wait, that is what we had. I forgot. Three thousand two point two. We do get some, yeah, a little bit of Assassin's Creed. We do get some damage out of it, but I don't know. Don't like the hood that much. Let's give it a shot. We will put some runes on it. See what we can do. We can squeeze in more damage out of it. If it's worth it, then we're going back to heavy. 
Most likely we will head back to heavy. So we'll see. Don't need levity at least. So I don't know what we are going for. The world's never ending creation. Craft something for me, would you? Don't really want that. And that one. 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 Or that one. No. Well, I can take that one if nothing. No. 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 Armor deflect arrows. Well, I don't know. There's really not much interesting here, that's for sure. Retribution. You have a 30% chance of returning a portion of damage received to the attacker. The only problem is we don't want to be hit. We are squishy right now. That's only when X, we're not using it, we don't really use any spells in combat. I think we'll go with this one. So, Quen Irden Warden. Lesser one, oh, that's some pretty bad. Thanks. So long. I'm my own oh. master with a bottle in front of me. It's no disaster, not like a frontal lobotomy. Ah. 
Oh, it's the wrong tent. There it is. Witcher, I have a matter of prime urgency and import. I must speak to you. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase, that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk, that she's wont to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Yeah, yeah fair enough, fair enough. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting, her father a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists, and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Hardly a regular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. V can't be anything ordinary either. I am no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? 500, well, not too bad. How about 150 more? Vivian is worth every copper, but this amount I simply do not have. You ask too much. Okay, take it easy. How about 75? Agreed. That is an amount I can indeed muster. Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. 
meaning. Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Yeah, I don't... We, yeah, we don't really need training. Apply all the skills you mentioned on a daily basis, and against monsters, not targets and dummies. Don't need any training. Going straight to the tourney grounds to sign up. Must go to the inscription, pet. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be... In uh, uh, whatever, whatever you say. As you said after. The north must be a terribly barbaric land. Say Stark Spring, baby. Uh. Oh. <clears throat> Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Why would we be Forhorn? Ravix of Forhorn? How'd you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. Hmm. Kind of curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Yeah, those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. Yeah, let's go with that one. The Honorable Ravix will do. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Oh. Hmm. In that case, yes. thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Um, yeah. You say something about vows? Why, why? This is our custom. Knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out, shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. 
Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Convenient. All right, we are ready. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? Hmm. The Heron, Lady's Love. I don't know. Like that. I swear on Her Grace's illustrious garter to respect the chivalric virtues in competing. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please. Then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tour. Wait, what? No, what about my armor? Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. Damn, I wanted to try out this armor. But look at us. Decided to turn knight errant. All jesting aside, here on a job, you and the twenty-two. Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Rainfan of Atre. I saw him just moments ago, a nervous wreck, stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less, as if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt, I have a tip for you. The timing and? of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of Quint. Quint? Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. This place on Gwent. Never turn down a round of Gwent. Damn straight, we're never done.
are great. Last card. Oh, we stop. Okay, well, then we won. I congratulate you. We shall swap as agreed. We've passed the time rather nicely. Lady Fithian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. of tourney patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have readied body and soul. The time has come to test them. Let's not let him down. We can do this. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian royal line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him new blood, a knight unknown till now. Seraphix of Forhorn, give us a bow. The targets he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. So we are going for red. If I understand it correctly. Sir 